She was like, I just don't want you to be going through this. I know what you're going through. Didn't they tell you that I was savage? Jersey! Previously, with Peyton. You already know who this is, and if you don't, I will put her name right here. We're gonna be linking up with a lot of the girls this year. The positive girls. I got my car back. She don't 100% that detail. Her so nice. Her seat's all shiny. Hey, girl. I'm pregnant. You never met no one like me. It's pretty funny how now they all like me. And that. He's talking about these shoes. Wow, this is bad. What you want, that, that it's all there, and that if everything that is there came to you all in one split second, you're right, it would be overwhelming, but it won't happen that way. Okay, so this checkerboard knitted romper was 48. I see you, even though you pretend not to see me. I see you. I still want you to win, Queen. Make sure you're all caught up on the Living Alone Diaries and let's jump into today's day in my life and see what's going on. Okay, so you guys know how I have been raving about the PMD claim body. Well, when PMD reached out to me to work with them again and sponsor another video and send me over the PMD Beauty Rose Quartz along with the Gua Sha Rose Quartz, I couldn't say no. First of all, I have been seeing this all over TikTok and I feel like this is going to be a great benefit to my skin, especially, you know, just making sure I do my lymphatic massages and keep this jawline of mine contoured. I have been using this all day today to really kind of like break up the scar tissue under my chin because I've had previous lipo and like I can already see a difference in my jawline. I don't know if y'all can see it, but but the pmd beauty rose quartz first of all this is a lovely pink beautiful device it has the rose quartz here which warms up this is going to be great for exfoliating and moisturizing the rose quartz the heat therapy in the rose quartz um it heats up and it's great for inflammation and tension so i've been using it a lot on my jawline for um my lymphatic massages but to also apply serums i also use this side when i'm breaking up any mass that i put on my skin to help like warm up the product and really like penetrate the my pores in my skin and this is just like the pmd clean body so it comes with four different sonic vibrations this is going to help exfoliate and lift all of the dirt out of my skin making sure that my skin stays free from breakouts right now i am experiencing a little bit of breakouts it may be from makeup or could be possibly from wearing this hair and the dye um, so this is definitely going to make sure that those pimples just go ahead and come to a head um, allowing me to really penetrate the product that i put on it so they can go ahead and come to a head and then i just put a little patch over it to make sure that i don't spread the bacteria around while i'm using the pmt beauty rose quartz so i absolutely love 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 this device i have the pmd clean body and now i have the one for my face so i am set especially when i'm traveling i cannot wait to take this on trips with me because i really just feel like this is going to help transform my facial skin so i highly recommend a 10 out of 10 you guys to try it especially Especially these two together if you're having any inflammation in your jawline area your chin area your neck area make sure that you're using this device to contour that jawline and do your lymphatic massages so whenever you use it you always want to make sure that you add a nice serum that helps it glide and whenever you you know use it you want to contour the jawline and then 
any fluid that is in there you push it down into your lymph nodes so that's how i use it and that's how i have been taught to use it so yeah tap my link below to get 30 percent off use my code peyton pmd and yes thanks again to pmd for sponsoring another video Pizza for breakfast, don't mind if I do. Don't act like you don't do it. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Let me show y'all what I did. Holy smokes, I'm a genius. Okay. So, I got the California Farms Cold Brew Coffee with Almond Milk Mocha. And I topped it with this Coconut Creme Coffee Made Creamer. Oh my God. That's so doggone good, y'all. Pressure. You gotta try it. I got that creamer from Walmart, by the way. So that's the it's my first time seeing it, and it was the last one in Walmart. So I already know it's probably gonna be a struggle for me to to keep buying it. Is this that's what it's giving me? It's gonna be a struggle for me to keep buying it. But that creamer is so freaking good. So if y'all like mocha, I wouldn't wouldn't know how it would taste with anything else. But if y'all like mocha flavored iced coffee, try that creamer. Wow. Can we say wow? Like, that's probably the best iced coffee I have ever tasted. That's better than Starbucks. I'm, I be trying to tell y'all I'm a mixologist. Y'all don't be listening. All right, so I literally just finished editing a vlog. I'm waiting on it to upload. Um, I tried my best to edit this last night. I was up to like three o'clock in the morning and then the sleep fairy came over me and it was a wrap after that. So I went and got into bed, took me some melatonin. And I was like, I just get up early in the morning and edit. So. It took me like two hours to edit down almost four hours of footage, which is not that bad because I actually deleted quite a bit out. Um, oh, child, I look so rough in this vlog. I look so rough. My, my skin was breaking out on top of my face was just really swollen because I've been sleeping on my face a lot. I'm still trying to get used to that mattress topper, honestly. Um, I just feel like the type of back that I have, I should be sleeping on the floor. Like I sleep so good on hard surfaces, but it's so freaking comfortable. Like as soon as you sit on and you literally like sink in the bed, like a pillow, like a, like a really, really soft cloud. So I'm gonna try and get some adjustments, like get back into seeing the chiropractor and see if like that'll help because I really, really like that mattress topper and I spent so much money on it. I really don't wanna have to like donate it or give it away. Um, But I'm still having back problems. It has nothing to do with the mattress topper. It's my senior citizen ass back. And when I say senior citizen, I'm not trying to be funny. like. Please, if you are up in the the wise age, please do not take offense, offense to that. I've literally had a chiropractor tell me I have the spine of a 60-year-old woman. So, because I know how like y'all like to tussle. I know how y'all like to tussle. I like to tussle too, baby, but not in the comments. 
I have no idea what I'm doing today. Um, it's a beautiful day outside though, and I should totally get cute, get jazzy, get out, but who knows? I might stay in the house all day today, make sure that everything is together. Um, my housekeeper comes tomorrow. Um, so I just really want to make sure everything like in, in its place so she don't have to like work around it, which that never really happens unless it's my bedroom. She really be having to work around stuff in my bedroom. So I want to make sure like everything is in its place. Hang up these clothes that I just hauled from Zara and Manuel Duvoir. I bought some new hangers from Walmart yesterday. Um, and yeah, attempt to get some things done. Plus I bought some catfish while I was at um, Tom Thumb the other day when I went grocery shopping. So I think I want to make some catfish fried cabbage and what else would go good with catfish because like you don't typically see people eat mashed potatoes with catfish so i'm thinking maybe i should make catfish hush puppies or fried okra and fried cabbage now i do need to go to the store and pick up a fried cabbage because when i went in tom thumb all they had was red cabbage Oh, it, it was, actually it was kind of it was kind of purple. It was like it was it was given like violet. I ain't never seen a purple cabbage. It might be super healthy for you. We'll look it up. We'll look it up. It might be super healthy for you, but I couldn't I couldn't make myself cook a purple cabbage and tell myself that it was gonna come out good good when I've been eating regular cabbage all my life. So I had put it in the basket and I was like, baby, pl baby please take that out the basket. It's, it's giving an alien cabbage. You don't know where that cabbage came from. Put it back. That's what I told myself, so I put it back. So we gonna throw something on real quick and pop over to the grocery store to pick up a head of cabbage, sure. Like literally, that's all I need is a head of cabbage. But I really wanna make some fried catfish and fried cabbage today. And I guess hush puppies. I guess. Eventful day today, so we're gonna do a day in my life. Yesterday, I um, I drank that freaking mocha iced coffee, and I know my body. I've been knowing my body ever since I was born. You know what I'm saying? Well, okay, since I was 14, right? So. I started my menstrual when I was 14 years old. I never forget it. The scariest shit of my life. And my mom wasn't there. So um yeah, I thought I was dying. Anywho, I quickly realized that chocolate is not my best friend when I'm menstruating. Why do you ask? Because I get the absolute worst cramps and I feel like I am heavier during this time. Um, forgive me if this is too much information and you don't like hearing about this stuff, but this is natural. Yes, women die a little bit every month. I should have known yesterday that I shouldn't have been drinking anything with chocolate in it yesterday, especially that iced coffee. But I don't know, I'm thinking, uh, maybe things have changed. Y'all, when I tell you the way I was screaming last night, I'm on FaceTime with Kyra, and I get this cramp. And it's not even like a, 
a wound inflammation cramp. You know what I'm saying? Like the normal cramps that you get. Because I don't, I don't think men understand what a cramp feels like. But let me help you. If you have ever had any type of stomach pain, like you know how when you have gas, this is to the men, you know how when you have gas and you get that weird pain in your stomach that's letting you know something is about to go down? Or how about that pain that you get, that weird pain, it's like a weird crampy pain that you get right before you find out you got diarrhea. That's what cramps feel like. And we are blessed to feel that three days out of every month. Cause I, I only get cramps for the first two, the first two to three days. I don't cramp the whole time I'm on my period. I get them like the first two or three days, and then like around about day four, I go off. Right? <laughs> I be like, hey, shit, I'm, I'm back in the game, and then it'll come back on, and I'll start cramping again, and and I'll be on for a complete day and a half, and then I'll go off. Like my, my, my cycle is crazy. It's crazy. That's why I tell y'all don't, don't run no red lights. Don't run any red lights and wait till you are completely off because it'll come back on you. I'm on, the, I'm on FaceTime with Karen and I get this. It's not the, it's not the normal cramp. It's like a shooting pain that shoots up the back of my butt right so i'm like oh my god let me go to the bathroom when i'm telling you i'm i'm screaming i'm screaming like wait a minute i might need to go to the doctor i have never been afraid to go to the doctor like never because i'm a hypochondriac so if i feel anything wrong baby let's get let's get to the copay but lately this year I have been afraid to go to the doctor because the last person in my family, they went to the doctor for a stomach pain. They found out they had cancer and like a month left to live. This shit. <sighs> Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me see because I'm trying not to. But anyway, y'all, that pain that I was feeling, it was like, I get those all the time, but this specific time, it was like worse. And I do feel that it, it had something to do with me drinking that chocolate iced coffee, knowing that I shouldn't uh, drink or consume any anything with chocolate in it while I'm on my menstrual. So I'm laying down in the bed, me and Karen was on FaceTime. And, you know, we're just talking about different stuff. And I started feeling the pain. And I'm like, okay, Karen, well, I'm going to lay down because uh, my stomach hurt. And she was like, you on? And I was like, yeah, I'm on. And she was like, you hurting? And I'm like, yeah, I'm hurting, boo. And so um, in, the, in the midst of that, me saying I'm hurting, I get another sharp pain. So I kind of scream on, on camera. It was like while I'm on the phone with Karen. Yeah, my baby's so sensitive. Why she busts out crying? She busts out crying, y'all. I'm talking about that just hurt my little heart. I'm like, okay, shit. Now let me push through it because I'm her hero, child. She was like, I just don't want you to be going through this. I know what you're going through. I'm talking about real tears. Kara is so sensitive child i just love her so i'm like i'm all right girl i'm just being a big baby any type of pain i don't deal well with any type of pain any type of pain like it's some people that like pain for pleasure i don't understand it i do not understand it if you get where i'm going i don't understand it like how i don't like no type of pain Anywho, what we have on the agenda today, I'm getting my last cryo facial today, y'all. And I really feel like the cryo facial has transformed my skin. I kind of want to keep getting them. But them joints like $125 each. And you're supposed to get them, you know, consecutively and consistently every week at the same time. So I'm going to ask her today, can I keep getting these once a month? for just like maintenance purposes of my skin because i feel like my skin likes 
the cryotherapy it likes the cold therapy and i do have those little balls that i was gonna start like massaging my face because i don't know if y'all have noticed this but when i wake up in the morning my face is so inflamed that it, like I, it's almost like you can see the fluid or maybe i'm just being too critical of myself because i see it when i'm editing uh vlogs um i continue to i leave it in because i'm just a real ass bitch you know what i'm saying i leave it in the footage because hell everybody don't wake up beautiful and some days i don't so ha ah, ah, ha the pain Ooh. Mm. Yeah, it got me. It got me that time. Sorry, y'all. That was it was that pain. Shit. That shit hurt so damn bad. It's a different type of pain. I don't know what this shit be about. I get them pains, then I get cramps, and then after my period go off, I get ovulation cramps. And ovulation cramps damn near hurt worse than both of those little cramps and those pains ovulation cramps had me like this like i'd be like ooh, 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 ooh. it's like i don't even I, don't, I can't even understand what the hell would be going on in my body that would make me cramp like that when i'm ovulating but my body literally tells me baby you need to get you some immediately and i'm like why i'm gonna be 40 bitch i don't want no more kids I used to want a son, but I already told McKenna I'm just gonna adopt her baby as my nephew. Like <laughs> that's the only one. That's the only one that can call me auntie. That's it. Cause I'm just so in love with her little boy, the the uh, her her newborn. I'm so in love with that baby. He looked like cabbage cabbage patch kid. But what do we have on the agenda today? I need to do some yoga. We're stretching, as you can see. I have on my back brace, girl. I be sleeping in this thing. I don't know what I'd be lifting in my in my dreams. <laughs> I guess I'd be lifting people up. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about me, I'm not going to let you talk down on yourself around me at all. So I must do it in my dreams. You know what I'm saying? Period. Um, but yeah, we need to stretch. <sighs> we need to stretch. So, and then my appointment is at 1.00. They want me to come in at 1.15. My appointment is at 1.15. So let's go ahead and do some stretching. We just took our vitamins. Get the body going. And then um, we'll get, get dressed and put some... Damn, should we get cute and put some clothes on? Nigga, horses don't stop. They keep going. Yeah. You can lose your life, but it's going to keep going. Why not risk life when it's gonna keep going? Yeah. When you die, somebody else was born, but at least we got to say we ran on some digits, we ran on the money, we ran on some digits, we ran on the money, we ran on some digits, we ran on the money. We ran on some digits, we ran on the money, we ran on some digits, we ran on some money, we ran on some digits, we ran on the money. I'm calling it like I'm on the field for that. I call out some shit like my bitches and bitches. They didn't know me once, so I left from with bitches. You know it's that drop when you drain and get flipped. done with my cryo facial can we tell a difference i feel like i could see a difference i'm excited about it um while i'm here i'm gonna go ahead and get two shots and then we're gonna head back to the house because my housekeeper um i think she's finishing up and i just allow her to like lock up and everything so i just want to make sure she did that properly before i like move on with my day because i do want to stop by a few stores um, but I want to make sure. Hey, girl. I wanted to get a couple of shots today. Yeah, Is it cool? Sure. Um, the amino blend. And uh -huh. it, can I get one? Can I get more than one at a time? Yeah, absolutely. You got you got muscles I can put them in too. Okay. The <laughs> the amino blend and the glutathione, the triamine. Yeah, absolutely. I can do those too. Absolutely. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. The only thing that we can't do until it's April film. after April sixth is the vitamin D. Okay. Right. Oh, those are absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I follow this Instagram page, Wealth. It's at Wealth on Instagram. 
I like following like you know inspirational pages but this Instagram page isn't just about money and like talking about rich people it's really keeping you you know informed you know what's going on in the world too so today they posted um what lake water looks like under a microscope so scientists went out I don't know which lake they went to, but they went out, got a cup of water out of a lake, and they took it back to the lab, and they put it under a microscope. Let me tell you something. This day forward, I already was funny about lake water anyway, because... What? This day forward, you can not pay me to get in no lake water. You can't pay me. Y'all got to follow me on Instagram, because I repost a lot of this stuff in my story. You can't pay me to get in lake water. All of that, them different microbes. That was, like, imagine having an open sore. Or, shit, the, the vagina is, is an open womb, if you ask me. It bleed. And if the wrong thing get in, you be messed up. So, it, it, it's, it's giving open womb. Ain't a womb up in there? Yeah. Imagine getting in that lake water and some of that getting in your your sore or like one of those microbes getting in a sore or imagine getting in that lake water, right? A man getting in that lake water and he's not bathing himself with like an antimicrobial rinse or antibacterial rinse and then y'all have like relations after it. Baby, that's in you. Them little microbes that was in the, under that microscope, that's in you now. Like, my grandma always taught me. Bitch, you better slow your motherfucking ass down. That faded ass hood. You need a paint job while you out here hunking at people, ho. Ooh, and it's easy. And it's easy. I'm gonna call the police. You know, you could do that. If somebody hunking at you and... and y'all know y'all could do that, Rory. If somebody hunking at you and uh, uh, exhibiting road rage, trying to run you off the road and shit, you can report them. You can call the police and report them. I'm sure gonna do it. And then I want to look over here because you know I'm looking at you. Anyway, as I was saying, imagine getting in that water with an open sore or a cut. Or, hell, just getting in that water like that shit on your skin and not taking a bath right afterwards. I remember one time I never forget it. Oh, the thought of this make me sick to my stomach. I got in a I went to a lake with one of my friends and y'all know I ain't never really been able to swim but I was still getting out in the water, going in the water, swimming underwater, opening my eyes underwater. Now I cannot remember if I uh drowned a little bit possibly swallowed some of the water all i know is shortly after going swimming i just got real tired like i wasn't sick i wasn't sick but i got really really tired you know it could have been an overdose of vitamin d because i also got sunburned that day it could have been that because too much sun will make you sleepy child my friends were still out in the water while I was sleeping in the car. I just got really, really tired. And I always feel like maybe it was something to do with the lake water. And now that I'm seeing that, hmm. Because I, I want to say I swallowed a little bit of the water. I, I want to say I like drowned a little bit. Like I can't, I can't really remember. It's, my mind is kind of foggy. Blame COVID. Yeah, I ain't never getting in lake water. And we got a couple of lakes here in Dallas. And like, but it's not, uh, no, it's not, you know. Out in the suburbs, we have like lakes where you can like get in the water, jet ski, all of that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't want, I don't want that water to touch me. So the other day at the grocery store, I picked up this orange chicken by P.F. James. 
so I am going to make this in some white rice. So I'm using four sisters in a rice form in Louisiana. They're jasmine rice. I think I got this from Tom Tom. It was kind of expensive. I've always noticed how expensive jasmine rice is. I really was going to make some fried catfish. I said that I was. I've been telling myself that I wanted like fried catfish, fried cabbage, and hush puppies. But i just make this. I think this can hold me over for the rest of the day. And I might go out to dinner tonight. I have a webinar scheduled at 8 that I got to watch that I gotta be on. I probably should have started cooking the rice first. This is gonna cook fast. Okay. What's the verdict on the orange chicken? I got it on my favorite shirt. Two pop. Two pop? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Don't give them. It's disgusting. Wow, what a waste of time. Wow, what a waste of time. Huh? It's nasty. It's disgusting. So I ended up just making me a salad chai. I added some avocados in there to add to the calories, but I do not recommend that PF Chang's orange chicken from the grocery store. It is so soggy. Like, <laughs> it's not gonna be like in the when you get it in the restaurant it is so soggy and it does not taste good at all at all it was making my me sick to my stomach so as much as i love my lost cherry candle I'm not quite ready to burn it. And I have this House of Sillage Whispers of Truth candle. Which smells amazing. It smells exactly like the perfume. Oddly, it does kind of annoy me though. Because it's so sweet. Like the perfume started to do me like that. That's why you don't hear me talk about it that much. Like... I love Whispers of Truth and it gives me so many compliments, but it's kind of annoyingly sweet. Anyway, we're going to burn that one instead of Lost Cherry because the love that I have for that candle, but it is so expensive. This, I think, was, I want to say it was $60 or $80. We gotta hang all these new clothes up because I'm not leaving that pal in my closet. Sister girl made my bed different. I'm like, wait a minute, something different. It's the bed. She made it different than what she made it last time. So it's brighter in the room. It seems brighter in the room because she didn't cover the whole bed with the quilt this time. But I picked up these velvet hangers from Walmart yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, it was the day before yesterday. So these have the gold hooks. 
But these hangers came in a set of 30 for $9.97. I wonder why Walmart priced their things two percent. I mean, two cents lower than most stores. Oh damn! I need a damn. Oh, I don't want to go downstairs. All right, if you walk, shut up! All right, so I did pick up a whole bunch of new items from Zara and Menier Duvoir. I am determined to start hanging my stuff up when I get it instead of leaving it in the package that it comes in um, on the floor of my closet. Just trying to keep my life together. Because it's one thing to get your life together is another thing to keep your life together. But you don't hear me though. Yeah, cause girls is players too. Uh, yeah, yeah, cause girls is players too. Cause girls is players too. Bitches get money all around the world, cause girls is players too. What you know about living on the top? Penthouse suites, looking down on the ops. Took her for a test drive, left them on the lot. Time is money, so I spent it on the watch. Hold on, low T showing through the white tee. You can see the thong busting on my tight jeans. Okay, rocks on my fingers like a nigga wife me. Got another shorty, shit ain't nothing like me. Yeah. Yeah, I feel so childish. <laughs> I feel so childish for buying these. It's on thumb yesterday. When I tell you they so good. I'm on my second. I literally just ate a bag. I'm on my second bag. These are so freaking good. I don't think it's but like five little mini cupcakes, but these literally are the best cupcakes I've ever had. And they in the uh, party cake muffins. They so good and moist and soft. Oh my god. Man, I hope this is a like a a permanent thing. Because the way I just fell in love. Wow. It literally tastes like a birthday cake. So we got some new gym equipment. I got a new bench that actually came with the tempo, but the bench was on back order. It was supposed to be delivered in December. And then something happened with their manufacturer where they decided to go in a different direction um, with like the make of it. So that pushed it out and it just got delivered um, today. So my whole package with the tempo 
It actually was supposed to be delivered when I first got it, but yeah, we're just now getting it and I didn't really want to wait that long. So I ended up buying that bench over there, which honestly you can do a little bit more with it. This would be just literally to sit and do like chest presses and um, um, bench press and stuff like that. So I think something stuck on my lip. Sorry, y'all. I think I'm about to rearrange the gym a little bit. Just a little bit. Like I ain't, I'm, I'm not going to like overdo it and do too much, but I do think that I'm going to rearrange the gym just a little bit. And I think I'm going to go ahead and hang up these art pieces too. Look at me, where she wanna be, call me Freaky T, off the leash, I feel like a dog, I can't have the flea, keep it pee, never needed you, but you needed me, I got cream, make a pretty clean, boost your self esteem, I, I get tight in the moment, so I feel like baby king, first and black, step on something, so I just like baby D, bitch I'm cold, pussy awesome, that you know it's giving cream, I got hoes, when it's not enough, come feel the nigga team, I need chills, I tell that nigga, I tell that nigga, he like a baby, he carry that on my hip yeah. oh I yeah. just think a zip, cause shawty got me shawty got me plus of all Before I do that bitch, I'm here, that bitch, I'm here On my house, give a fuck up on my face Up on my face, you can't be touched But I know that nigga is I know that I'm rich, but that's my project, bitch Boom, tell your team, we set up to my bitch She got switch Push a T, push a pound of weed, need a brand new weed, kill my dog, pussy nigga, please, I go key on the weeds, he don't go, why you telling me, just let a nigga see, honestly, I'm not feeling you, and you not feeling me, keep it G, welcome at the A, just let that nigga be, TLC, no I'm finna creep my phone on D&D, &D. that's my song, what that did to beat, I what that did to sleep, you ain't beat, but you know you beat to me, he beat his me, I need chicks, I told that nigga, I told that nigga, Alright guys, all done and my back most definitely hurts because I moved that doggone bench in um, weight, the little bench press system over there. I moved it like four different times, but we are done. So let's take a look. I'm glad I already made dinner, so now I ain't even got to worry about cooking, because I just threw that little pasta bake in the oven, let that cook, I made me some white rice too, I'm trying to increase my carb intake, we love that. What the hell is beeping now? I swear it's something always beeping in this damn house. What's going on? So extremely proud of myself for being productive today. Extremely proud. That ass. That ass. That ass. So I'm about to make a Instagram post. Well, damn. Yo, these little blue hearts. Where'd the other one go? So cute. What's it? So we love that one. 
that one is pretty all right content is done work is done for the day it's cute it's cute pose work is done for the day now we can shower do our face night routine do our face yoga have y'all downloaded the face yoga app let me see where did i put it it should be under i am healthy where did i put that damn app Ugh, let me see face yoga Oh, it's called Face Joy. Okay, yes. Uh, so the app is called Face Joy. You do have to pay for it. But um, y'all know how I showed y'all about the Gua Sha massages. So they have two free courses on Face Joy to do the Gua Sha um, face massages. So let me see. All these are free? Wow. So you got four courses for a full face gua sha on here that are free some of them you do have to pay for um but a lot of them are free like you know snatching your jawline there are um things that you should be doing with your mouth that keeps your lips plump in like this area from wrinkling because you know how like when you sip on straws the older you get, like if you drink from a lot of straws or you smoke, you start getting those lines in your lips right here, those wrinkles. Um, they have all type of different yoga exercises and facial exercises because you are supposed to be using these muscles. Like, yes, resting bitch face is beneficial, but at the same time, you are still supposed to be using your facial muscles so they don't become... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, this is why we have to read because I be li I be forgetting my words. They don't come. Uh, you don't uh, get muscle atrophy. I think that's what I'm thinking. Of. Th that's the word muscle atrophy. So like you need to be like using these muscles. And since I've had you know like lipo and stuff like that, I'm really supposed to be doing these, but I kind of like laxed and got behind. So. I have this little doohickey that helps me. Let me show you. So this right here. I forgot I had this. I got this years ago, like after I got chin lipo the first time. I bought this on, I'm not going to say I got it from Amazon. I want to say when this came out and this was like a thing and it was trending and a lot of like med spas had it. I got it. I ordered it from like a uh, actual website that was selling these i do not think i got it off amazon but i'm pretty sure they had these on amazon what is it called i cannot tell you but i know that i used to use this after my first chin lipo and let me tell you there is a picture on my instagram page to this day it is still my favorite freaking picture because when i tell you my jawline is snatched my jawline is snatched and I was using this faithfully. So I don't put this back into the skincare nighttime routine, honey, because this thing, it has like this, this thing in it. I'm going to use it tonight so I can show y'all, but like it really makes your muscles contract and it like wakes the muscles up and the nerves up and it really helps break down scar tissue this also heats up it has like five different lights on it so it's red light therapy blue light therapy pink light therapy orange light therapy green light therapy which all have different benefits like green light therapy red light therapy is for inflammation blue light therapy is great for like um acne and stuff like that i'll look it up and or i'll like post it right here so y'all can see it but like they all have different benefits and this bad boy has all the different lights and it has like five different radio frequency levels so i always use it on the highest level honey let me tell y'all because i had that um skin tightening procedure there were areas in my neck that were still numb that i couldn't feel so when i would get the cryo facials she would have it on the highest level and it would be really cold but i wouldn't be able to feel it over here i'm like are you over there because i can't feel it I used this last night. I BSU not. Today's cryofacial was really, really cold. I felt it like all areas. So this wakes up the nerves. It's radio frequency. I've been like really, you know, um, focusing on this little lump right here to break down that scar tissue. So doing this in conjunction with cryofacials and doing my red light therapy 
on top of using the gua sha to massage it and just give me like y'all don't can do y'all notice like how snatch my jawline is today if you go back and look at the last vlog my last living alone diary there were times in the vlog where out my skin just looked so loose and i was extremely swollen now given this was like early in the morning when i wake up my face is still swollen because uh it hasn't been a year since i had that skin tightening procedure so when i wake up in the morning i still get uh super inflamed like that's when like all of the collagen you know what i'm saying is build up so i'm like super still super swollen in this area so if i don't do my massages in the morning then throughout the day i'm just gonna look like super swollen this right here i think i spent like 49 dollars on it you probably can get it on Amazon for cheaper than that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find it for you guys. And I'm going to put it in the description box for you. Mm-hmm. It's not what, the one that I got. I do not believe. I cannot remember, but I do not believe that I got this off Amazon. Because I look in my Amazon history. This is not in my Amazon history. My Amazon history go back to 2015, I think. Okay, 2016, because I moved here in 2016. I wasn't really up do, like on Amazon when I was in Memphis. I start, I really started getting into like ordering stuff on Amazon when I moved here. But I'm going to find this for you guys and put it in my description box. And if you are experiencing any type of like inflammation or you really want to like break down that fat in your chin and like do some massages to, um, you know, contour your jawline download the face joy app this isn't sponsored get you one of these and make sure you get the gua sha from pmd okay and let's get this jawline snatched for the summertime girl we got time it's still early but because my birthday next month baby i'm trying to do a whole transformation transformation i'm trying to gain 10 pounds snatch my jawline lift my breasts i guess that's that's the last thing that's the damn that's the absolute damn last thing you can really see a difference in less than a week in less than a week with doing your face joy exercises you will see a difference in less than a week i bullshit you not you just got to stay consistent with it that's why i was like you know do it early in the morning so i'm gonna do one I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower, wash my face, do my skincare routine, and then I'm going to do one with y'all so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. And um, I'm going to show y'all how when I'm using this, how it starts like contracting my muscles and you will see like my lip jump and stuff like that. Oh, so good. I'm so glad I found this because I had forgot that I had this. Okay, so I do have the PMD Enrich Essence. This is a softening antioxidant essence. It's specifically formulated to soften and condition while neutralizing harmful free radicals in the skin. Sorry, that's the wind, y'all. So I got my gua sha and my radio frequency dev device, and we're going to do the full face gua sha. We're going to do the first course. We are going to use the top edge to massage the acupuncture point beside your cheek. The acupuncture point is on the other side of the cheek near the jaw joint, which is the highest point that bulges when the teeth bite together. Use the top edge wiggling to massage this acupuncture point. 30 seconds on this side, then change to the other side. top edge to massage the acupuncture point beside your cheek. The acupuncture point is in the depression area among the face, the front of your ear, the cheekbone, and the jaw. Use the top edge wiggling to massage this acupuncture point. 30 seconds on this side, then change to the other side. to use the top edge to massage your temple. Temples are the flat parts on both sides of your forehead, at the same level as the eyes and higher. Use the top edge to massage your temple gently. 30 seconds on this side, then change to the other side. V edge 
bent to massage your brow bone. Look forward and close your eyes. Place the V-edge along the bridge of your nose right under the brow bone. We will massage here by wiggling for 30 seconds. Always be careful with your eyes. And I'm just breaking down this scar tissue. When you're breaking down scar tissue, you want to do like rigorous back and forth motions. That's what I was told. I'm turning this on so the red light on, I'm going to use red light therapy and I'm going to turn it all the way to, to the top as you can see. That's how you turn it on. These are the different lights. Oh, it blinks. I didn't know it did that. So we're doing red light therapy and I'm going to turn it all the way up to the first one. And I'm going to add drops of the essence. And I'm going to show y'all how it pulls my muscles. You see that? What it's doing in my lip? I'm not doing it. That's the device. It's pulling my muscles. It's activating my muscles. And I think each session is like 10 minutes. So I didn't do 10 minutes on each side. And I make sure to like get those lines in my neck. And I really like make sure I contour my jawline. Like look at that. Like Look, even even when I'm like looking down, cause you know when you look down, that's when you can really see like that chin, that loose skin. Even when I'm looking down, look at that. And honestly, I feel like this essence from PMD, man. Because I get all kind of different like serums to use with this, but I feel like I like it the most with this essence. I feel like it works best with this essence. And I'm not just saying it because they sent it to me and sponsored, sponsored this video. I've used this device with uh, many different serums and I like it the best with this essence. Okay, all done. Pressure. Pressure. Yeah, I wish I would have thought of this routine song. I really, really do. All right, so I am. Look like I'm getting a little pimple. So I'm put some clindamycin on it right there. The whole little area. The essence really does soften the skin too. Okay, and then where's my muesli? Oh, there it is. So I have a prescription for a neck cream. Um, it is 0.025% tretinoin, niacinamide 2%, and hyaluronic acid 1%. So it's not like a high dosage, but we're going to start small. And then work our way up. And you know tretinoin is FDA approved anti-aging cream. So 
powder. 